All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is how to install a emergency light bar. Um, this is obviously on the Agents of Shield vehicle we're doing. Um, as you've probably seen in the last video, it's coming out pretty nice. Got it rhino line, got the stickers on it. Uh, this is pretty much one of like the final pieces, but there's no videos on how to do it. So I figured I would do the best I could with a video. And they usually have brackets and stuff that run here. We're just going to unbolt these 10, 10 millimeter bolts right here. And we're just going to go through and drill a hole in each spot and actually mount it that way. That way you don't have all these metal brackets coming way out here and looking goofy. Give it a cleaner look. Um, we are going to have to figure out how to do it without removing the entire headliner. <laughs> because i got seat belts and all the oh, handles. And uh, AJ's going to be helping me. I'm sure you remember him. So we're going to go ahead and get started doing this, and then we're going to run the wires through, and I'll try to get the uh, whole process, but sorry if I can't, but I will show you how we ran it either way. All right, so we have pulled some of this back and did the uh, oh, wow. handle, and there's enough room in there to get nuts and bolts, and then we're going to run sealer around it to keep it from leaking. So what we're going to do is first I just undid the nuts that are on this and it'll lift off and then we'll move those out of the way. Try and do this one handed. Hang on. And that's how it was, how it's going to sit. This is Rhino liner so we're not worried about scratching the paint up. Um, these rubber things are nice because they would act as a good seal but we're going to go ahead and seal it around there anyway so it doesn't leak in to the headliner. Um, we just wanted this to be down a little farther because that's it's a lot higher This thing sits up pretty tall, so we're gonna actually just go ahead and remove these But what I recommend you do if you actually have these is get a nut and a bolt that's pretty long and Drill your holes mark it all measure it all make sure it's all good and then drill your holes Obviously this will be underneath that and then run a nut and a bolt and then seal it anyways Just to make sure it don't leak. Well, this is how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna drill our hole here um, let me get it focused here. Okay, so we're going to drill our holes and we're going to do that on both sides and then the wires are going to run down. So we're going to drill a hole through this, which this already has an access spot from where the roof rack used to be. We're just going to drill through there on the other side, get the wires ran through, run down the pillar, hide all the wiring. So stay tuned. That one good? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and drill the holes. We're going to start with a smaller drill bit. And we're just going to use the nuts and bolts that actually came on the rubber stoppers. So that way we don't have to, you know, go finding more nuts and bolts. And once we're done getting the holes drilled properly, we'll make sure they're fit and they're able to be tightened. We're going to lift these up and we're going to run a bead of sealer around the inside under the metal. It won't be visible from the outside. And then we'll do the same on the inside just to, with a flat washer. So. We'll get started. I'll hold this still. Okay. Is it flashing? Just don't go too hard. Oh, wow. Oh, it went through. Do it on that side. Just go lighter when it feels like it's about to. You can't tell. Thank God. Yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do now that he got that side drilled, we're going to go ahead and just use some black um, RTV silicone. This stuff is water resistant. It'll put a good little seal between and it won't leak. I've done this before, not with a light bar, but with other things. So we're going to go ahead and lift it up. That side's already bolted in, sort of, just to keep it on track. We're just going to put a little dab around that area. That's a little dead, but to me. <laughs> and 
and as you can see you can, can't even really tell it's on there so we'll go ahead and do that to the other side as well um, on this side you can see that this bolt here it threads in because the hole was drilled just right so it's like it's threading through the metal but just to be safe we're going to put a nut on the other side as well so I'm going to get this tightened back down and then we'll start on the other side All right, got this side done, and we're gonna go go ahead and put the nut on the inside and go to the other side. All right, so got it all done, mounted up. Uh, my camera that I just bought, battery is dead. You can see, got it all gas sealed, nice and solid. Here's the inside. You can see we got a little dirty. We got to clean it up, but the wires run down through this plastic, which just peels back down through the kick panel, around under here, into the box, which. This does a dimming mode, and then this one shuts off the front, but the back stays constant, so I have it hooked up to a toggle switch there to shut it on and off, but this has a bunch of different modes on it. I'll click another one and show you it real quick. Another mode. Has all kinds of cool modes but yep uh, basic pretty pretty easy basic install um, just make sure to gasket seal everywhere you do don't rip the headliner too much unless you take the whole headliner out that seems like a whole lot of work for nothing we got to go through and detail the interior now um, this will be in comic-con I am a nerd when it comes to Marvel I love Marvel um, Thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope this video has kind of helped someone. Basically, we just ran it to power and uh, ran a toggle on top of the actual control box, and it's all good. So, thanks for watching, everybody.